Okay, so here is an overview for Google Sheets. So open Google Sheets, which is down here in my tray, and then click on this rainbow plus sign in the corner, and you have two options. Choose template or a new spreadsheet. Almost always we will click on a new spreadsheet. And the very first thing it says is new spreadsheet. Enter a name for your new spreadsheet. This is very important if you want to make it easy on yourself to find your files later. So a good file name always tells you whose file is this and what is it. So your first part of your file name should always be your last name. And then the second part should be the name of the assignment. Okay, so this is not an assignment, but what it is is an overview. So we're going to just call it overview. Then click create. Now, this is a spreadsheet. And it can be a little bit intimidating because what in the world do I do with that? There's just a bunch of boxes up there. Well, a spreadsheet is used for a wide variety of different things. We are going to use it. Uh, basically to learn account accounting um, and we're going to learn how to tell the spreadsheet to do our math for us so before we get that far notice up here in the top left you have the the file name Fletcher overview over on the right you have two buttons that are grayed out an arrow going backwards like back in time that is undo and the one going forward means to redo then you've got a share button, the person with the plus sign, that's a share button. The next one is comments, and then the three dots in all Google Apps means more. Now, the main part of our screen is all of these boxes, but there's a way to kind of make a little sense out of that. First, we see 24 rows right now. Okay, a row goes across. So right now, the part that you see uh, selected in blue is going from left to right. That is a row. Rows go left to right. Okay, and right here, that is a column. So I've got column D selected. So we have rows and we have columns. The rows are... Uh, named with numbers. So this is row 19, and this is row 10, and this is row 4. The columns all have letter names. So that's column B, and this is column F. Okay, and if you need more columns, you can just keep coming over. What happens when you get to Z? Well, you get AA. Well, it's not going to let me do that, but you do. You get AA. Okay, so let's go all the way back. And sometimes students get so far down the screen or over they think that it erased everything that they had because we always start up here in a1 uh, and that's not the case it usually didn't actually erase what you had you just got too far away to see it okay now down here at the very very bottom you see fx and it says enter text or formula we will come back to that in a few weeks okay so now like i said we're going to mainly use this for accounting and using uh, dollar amounts but we'll start out just with something like cat okay so I've got the word cat written in this uh, little box and the little box is actually called a cell like the cells in your body except it's not in your body it's the cells okay and with that selected we can come over here to the top we've got this a with the lines behind it that's format right underneath my record button. So if you click on the A with the lines behind it, we can now format the selected box, which is A1. We can format the text on that, so we can make cat be bold or italics or underline. And notice across the top, we're getting the toolbar is also doing it there as well. We can also format the cell, the little box. So if we wanted the border of that box to be different, we can make it really thick and we can make the border of the box be a different color and when we click off of it it'll be thick uh, well it didn't do it um, let's try that again the border style and then the uh, color of it okay so we'll get more into that later when you have a cell selected you get this toolbar across the top and you can do a lot of the formatting on that 
Um, here's your insert. Your plus sign is insert. We really won't be using many of these except the chart. Okay, because you, you did image and probably comments last year in fourth grade. And then the three, but the three uh, dots, which is more, we won't need to mess with that very much at all. Okay, so that's pretty much the layout and the workspace for Google Sheets. Google Sheets is a spreadsheet. Um, Google Sheets spreadsheets are made from, the, from Google, like the company Google that makes the search engine. It makes Google Classroom. Uh, Microsoft also makes spreadsheets. Their spreadsheets are called Excel, E-X-E.